you can put this in the chat, they are consistently course correcting. Consistently. And it's based on their true north. It's based on where they're ultimately going to end up. Liz, you want to test your mic? Are you yeah, there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. It sounds fine. So whatever reason it hung up. So secondly, we said that, and Liz said this, that one of the reasons why your, your values matter is because it will help you to identify your purpose. And, and, and this is going to sound, if you're listening with your ears instead of your spirit, this may sound like we've said this already, but I need y'all to really dial in and lean into this. The third reason is because your values fundamentally don't change once you discover what they really are. I am going to submit to you, if you believe that you have values that are vacillating and that are changing from year to year, I'm going to submit that that's not really a value. Values are not fickle. Does that make sense? I was, they're not fickle. It's, it's who you are to a fault almost. Yes. And, and, and unfortunately, sometimes because we don't have a very good, in my opinion, and, and certainly my experience, people don't have a very good um, working relationship with their values. And as a result, because we are, listen, guys, we're all human beings. Most of us want to be liked on some level. We do not like being the bad guy. We do not like being the odd man out. If you're not careful, you will call your value a light, compromise that value, and be pissed off with everybody else in the room for making you Woo! change. I promise you. Liz, I'm telling you right now, and it's I see it in marriages all the time. People always say, well, you know, uh, first marriages are ending about 50% um, in divorce on average. Here's what I want to know. How's the other 50% doing, for real? Mm. Behind the closed doors, when ain't nobody, well, how's that other 50% really doing? Yeah, they're married, but how they doing? Great to have you jumping in, Heather. Thanks for jumping in. No worries. Guys, you have got to understand that when you've drilled completely down and you are ra laser focused and crystal clear on what you value, I'm going to guarantee you it's not going to just change. You're not backing up off your value just out of will. I I'll change my mind on that. No, val you don't change your mind on values. Let me give you an example. My wife values integrity, values it. It is her number one value. When I begin moving too fast, and if I become inconsistent in what I say versus what I do, for my wife, it puts me in a category of a liar. That's harsh. Listen to me carefully. In her mind, now she may not come out and say that out loud, but in her mind, she said he's too inconsistent. That's a lie. He just told a lie. That's not true. He, he's not who he says he is. And I know that to be true. But, and, and so it begins to rail at her on the inside. And now she's agitated. She can't figure out. And so now the way it comes out is it comes out in an argument where she may challenge something that I'm saying based upon my inconsistencies. But really what she's challenging it is based upon what she values. Because you said you would be here at this time. And this is the third time this week that you've not been on time. What is the problem? Why is it? Do you not value my time? because I value yours. We have to talk about that. that now, I'm not saying that it, without communication, people can't make mistakes and things don't happen. I'm not dealing with that. I'm, I'm saying I'm consistently being disingenuous or, or not integrous, if that's even a word. I'm consistently backing up. And if I know that to be true, and I know that's what she values, I'm gonna promise you, it had better matter to me on some level. Because if it doesn't, it's going to cause the relationship to implode. So when I say values don't change, I want you to understand the reason they don't, because they're shaped in you. It's a matter of DNA. Mm. It's partially how God fashioned you. And when I say partially, some of it understood mm. is steep in how you have been reared the environment that you grew up Liz talked about that earlier sometimes if you've adopted your parents values right you can think that that's your value and you can live out of that only till it starts not working for you and then you start to question what it is that you value because i'm going to submit that really wasn't what you valued it's what somebody else valued who you had a tremendous amount of respect for and now you've owned this as your value and thus you begin building a life based on somebody else's values and that's dangerous so I want you guys to understand that absolutely, I'll say all those things can shape and, and cultivate, but that's why it's 
uh, uh, that's why it's critically important. And I'm gonna give this fact to Liz. It is critically important, guys, for you to establish for yourself, legit, Keisha, what do I value? Let me get clear on that. Before I say yes to the dude, before I say yes to the business opportunity, before I say yes to the job, before I say yes to quitting the job, before I say yes to giving this amount of money, before I say yes to co-signing, I had better get clear on what I value because here's what I, I'm going to promise you. If you don't, you're, it will come back to bite you because your value is not going to change. And you're going to come back to that place and position where you say, I knew I shouldn't have. I wish I wouldn't have. And now you'll be angry and bitter with yourself for a while because you compromise your values based upon some situation, some environment that quite frankly wasn't even designed to even register on your Richter scale at all. But you decided to own that. And so now you got to sit with that. Does that make sense, Liz? Oh my gosh, that was everything right there. That was everything right there. Yeah. And you know, while we were planning out um, this, this session, Glenn, we came up with so many different reasons, so many, so many different ways and keys and tips to, um, on how to become more self-aware. And we were stuck on values for a reason. The reason why we were both stuck on values is because of how much we believe in the power of knowing our values. And the fourth thing or fourth reason in why, in what knowing your values does or why, or why it's important is because it helps to increase your confidence. I mean, at the core of what we're doing, we're talking about self-worth here, right? It's like you said, it's, it's a process, it's a journey. It doesn't just happen overnight. I don't just feel worthy overnight or get into a relationship and I'm told I'm beautiful every day or I'm making this, you know, how many millionaires do you know or how many people, successful people do you know that don't feel worthy? And one of the things I know that knowing your values helps is helps with is increasing your confidence. Hundred percent, increasing your confidence, identifying your values. It increases your level of confidence because it brings out a like a sense of stability and safety to your life. When you know what you want. It doesn't matter what other people want. When you know what's important to you, it doesn't matter what is important to other people. This actually naturally brings out a sense of confidence to your life. And confidence is tricky. No matter how confident you feel, there's always something that can shake it. And I believe not knowing your values is one of those things. And if you're not feeling confident, there's always work you can do. Always. You don't just stop. There's no ceiling to confidence. It's not like, well, I feel confident enough today. I'm going to stop working on it. Often we feel that, you know, to boost our confidence, we have to take another course, go back to school, learn more, you know, become the expert, the smartest person in the room. And this kind of sends us on this wild goose chase of never ending learning. <laughs> and along with that, never ending, you know, avoiding taking actions or making commitments. And yes, it's certainly true. It's, it's definitely true that building knowledge and skills can boost our confidence. I'm not taking away from that. You don't even want to know how much money I've spent on personal professional development. But it's not enough. Especially if you're in a leadership role or a new or aspiring entrepreneur, an entrepreneur period, a business owner.
what is confidence? I think everyone has their own personal definition of confidence. And sometimes that definition is, is, is vague. And we don't give a lot of time and effort to really, you know, really get clear what that, what that means for me. Right? So the natural, naturally, you know, our first step is to feeling confidence is to get a clear understanding of what it means to me. What does feeling confident mean to me? What does that look like to me? Right, the dictionary, let me pull this up. The dictionary's definition of confidence. Confidence is a state of being expressed as a feeling of safety derived from the faith or belief in yourself to engage in an activity at a level that you define as competent. All right. The definition of confidence is different than, that definition is different than, I think, what most people would describe it as. Right? So consider what seems to fit and not fit when you're thinking of your own definition. Right? There's so many key points to notice about what confidence really is. It's a feeling. It's not a characteristic or a skill. It's a feeling. In the first session, we spoke about getting clear with our feelings. It's a feeling. Right? People with a high level of confidence act a certain way. They're being a certain way. And that's, but that's the outward expression of what comes from inward feeling. It's a certain act. It's a movement. It's a style. It's, you know, a person, a confident woman or a confident man walks in the room and you will see him. You will see her. Even if him or her is five, six, seven, ten years old. And that feeling is completely controlled by you. I'm in. Liz, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't even know. You just spoke so much on what I was even studying on last week. Really? Yes, it all starts with a feeling, but the feelings come from your thoughts. Yep. Because if you don't think you are, then how are you going that. to be? Exactly. You know, so when you walk in the room, and you know who you are, yeah. your demeanor will demand respect. Yes, without saying anything. Without saying a word, because you are sure of who you are. And when you think it, you believe it, you walk in it, and then you attract like-minded people because they be yes. like, oh, they got it going on, so I need to find out what's going on. And, and that's how it keeps going. But it all starts with that thought. Yes. And I'm going to piggyback on that for a second, Allison, because that was so deep. People will see that. And let me not make a, a paint a very pretty perfect picture here. There are going to be people who are going to resent that in you without even knowing you. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in a room and, you know, they're giving you that side eye and that attitude looking at you like, who does she think she is? That is not your that is not your baggage. You don't take that on. Anytime I walk into a room and listen, I say this humbly. I don't like it. I don't understand it because I am the most loving person. I, I have never walked into a room and given anyone side eye. Like I don't, I don't carry myself that way. However, I have seen that. But I understand that that's not me. That is your light. That is the joy you are walking into that room with. That is what you carry. And that has nothing, their hate or their jealousy or that bad eye has absolutely nothing to do with you. It is what they are struggling with inside. 
hundred percent. That is their baggage. Hundred percent. Because you know who you are, as Allison said. When you know who you are, you don't get moved, nor switched, nor shift by what other people, the energy that other people are giving you. It doesn't move you. You stay true to who you are. That is called knowing your values. And Boom. Absolutely. And so we need to know what we're looking for in all situations. All situations. Knowing your value values is magical. It's magical. They're the operating principles that guide every decision you make. Every decision. 100 percent. Liz, I know we're up on a time thing. It's 1:30. I know some of you guys are at work. You're going to have to get out of here. I know Liz has a uh, work uh, sheet. We're going to kind of try and uh, talk a little bit about how do you get to the place of discovering your values. It's a process. I know that many of us, and Liz coaches people through this all the time. I do as well. I'm going to defer to her. We're going to talk a little bit about you guys. What does it look like to drill down on what it is that you value? Is there a process of discovery where you can kind of figure out, at least get into the ballpark of what that looks like? Because Keisha, if you get clear on this, guys, listen, everyone in the room, we're, whether you're listening live or replay, if you get clear on what you value, everything changes. Mm. The reason why Ellison can say what she's saying, I know her personally, we've known each other for a number of years, we've, you know, we're friends, right? I know the feeling that she gets walking to the room, but I also know the person. I can say that I've been standing side by side and she can feel the shade, if you will, but also know the person. And here's what I also know, they don't know the person, mm. which for me makes it 100% clear, 100% of the time, truly this is their issue. Truly this is their issue. They have no idea who this woman is. Same way with Liz. They no, they have no idea, you know, what, so, so what I need you guys to understand, it's critical for y'all to get clear on this part. So Liz, walk us through a little bit of a process of how we could be thinking concerning, you know, what does it look like to sort of, for those that may not be there yet, what does it look like in the way of an exercise or some kind of thought process for us to kind of go through as a takeaway today on how can we get a little bit clearer on understanding it's a journey, guys, a little bit clearer on what it is that we value. So I'm going to open this up. I, I, want, I want us to keep it super simple. I don't want you to think too deep. I don't want you to, you know, think that if, you, if I choose, um, you know, groundedness, that, you know, oh, well, maybe that's not good enough. Or maybe that, no, don't even think too much of this. You know, go through this. I, I really, I added here the most common ones. And then I left room for you to add your own. When you go through this list, circle every single, and not, not just listen. To be honest, I think most human beings would say that all of these values are important. Okay. However, what is most important to you in your business, in your relationships, on your social media platforms, within your community, with your children, your, your family, your home, what is most important for you? Spirituality is huge for me. If you notice, I didn't write religion right? That's huge for me. Maybe tradition is, big, you know, there's a part, there's a lot of traditions that I still live by that I got from my parents, but it's not one of the, my values that I circled. Service, right? I have a community, an organization called Street Projects, where I provide aid for the homeless. I get into the streets, into the projects, and I do my thing out there. That's big for me. So I want you to look at these and really, you know, listening was one for me as well. I didn't realize how important that was for me. You know, when, you know, 
And that's a, a, a common value that I have with my partner. So I want you to just look at them. You know, is collaboration a value for you? Do you value collaboration? Or do you prefer to work on your own by yourself? You don't like collaborating with other people. If collaboration isn't important for you, if it's not a thing for you, community may not be either. Adventure. Because I love community, I also love adventure. Right? So do you, do you value a sense of accomplishment? Is that a, a thing for you? Growth is another. For me in my relationship, in, in everything, one of my values is growth because if we're not growing, we're not learning. Quite frankly, we're not living. So growth, you know, I mean, circle, circle as many as you want, but be careful with circling too many. I want you to select those ones that resonate deep within. You want your relationship based on these things. This is how you wanna build your business. This is, I want you to really think deep on these. Health, that's one of mine as well, right? Maybe independence is something for you. That it, it's, it means, you know, it's big for you. Maybe you're at a place in your life where you are striving and working very hard for your own independence. So if you have, if there's other, I mean, there's so many, I like, I literally took this off of a list of like a hundred. It was like over a hundred. One thing I'm going to submit, guys, while we're here, and we're getting ready to roll. I know we're at 134, so we're a little bit over. So, um, Liz, are we going to provide that sort of a framework and an email to these people? Is that how you want to do that? I mean, if they wanted, did everybody get that? If, if I mean, I think it's pretty simple. They all have yeah. the handout. Okay, so they should have gotten the handout, and if you didn't, just let Liz know. And then did that you guys get the handout? I didn't okay, get so it. At least. I mean, um, Ellison is saying no, uh, uh, Atika, I think it was, said she didn't get it. So no worries. What we'll do- uh, Hold uh, on, hold on, Glenn. So can you guys confirm that you got my email this morning? I'm looking right at it and it says sent. It went out to 48 emails. Please tell me if you didn't get that email. Just, just enter that in the chat box, please, or just put unmute your phones. Yes, but not attachment. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, now we know. Okay. Okay. Everybody looks like they got the email, but not the attachment. No worries. Um, Liz. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get any email for today. You didn't get an email. No, nothing. Hmm. Okay. So. Heather, can you enter your email? Okay, do me a favor. I'm gonna, uh, do you have my email? Yeah. Okay, you do? I do, yes. Okay, so there's my email. Um, this is the, okay, this is the email you guys should have gotten today. So you guys got this? I did, I did. Heather did, I didn't. Okay, because what's interesting is that if you notice, when I click on this link, it automatically opens up to that form. So the fact that some of you didn't get it is strange. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, is that there may have been an assumption on some parts that there was an attachment attached to it and they did not click on that click link, which would have opened it up, guys, now okay. that you and you driving that through, okay, it's okay. us how. Oh, Atika click says that, I see it. Okay, awesome. Click that link, guys, and make sure you open it up. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Listen, okay. listen, listen, that flamingo partner of mine over there, the light-skinned one, is, <laughs> look, has been putting hours in making sure that y'all are squared away. And, and quite <laughs> frankly, it pulls on the part of her that is not her strength. And the fact that she's put this work in, first yeah. of all, y'all give her a hand 
because she's making this happen and do what needs to be done. I'm very the proud of you, Liz. The creativity part is me, but the uh, yeah, the, the creativity. No, the uh, we we talk about the executing and putting in all that detail. The more details, the worse. It's like, oh my God, Glenn Brooks. I've been yeah. here for three hours working on this thing. Like not the tech stuff. So, I don't like the so, tech. So stuff. that's that's not her thing. So haven't received that email. Okay, awesome. So okay. Heather still needs to get the email. Okay, what? Well, email. Put your email in here, Heather. Mm -hmm. Your email address. That's exactly what I was going to say. Awesome. Yeah. Put your email address in the chat. While we still have everyone doing that, if you didn't get the email, put your email address in the chat so that Liz can get it. She can save these notes and she'll go back and look at your emails and make sure that you guys get this. Here's what I want you guys to do. Liz said something that I don't want you guys to overlook. This list is a framework. Put framework in the chat. It is only a framework. It is not an ex ex exhaustive or extensive list. The other thing that I want you guys to do is sit with this and do not rush this process. I want you to do a brain dump and I want you to get out of your head all the things you feel like you value. Because over the next couple of weeks, uh, although we may move on, what I want to do is begin to put it in the forefront of your brain, what you think it is, so that you can see what it looks like. And you be, if, if we were coaching one-on-one, -on -one, I would take you through an entire, Liz could do it too, we don't have the time, to take you through an entire process of drilling down on sort of funneling down to the very bare minimum of what it is that you value. Really, at the end of the day, you really want to walk away with a top five. And you want to be able yes. to prioritize those five. What is seven. number one? What is number two? What is number three? What is number four? And what is Prior number I could rattle mine Boom. off off the top of my head because I, I, I regularly sit with my values. Does that make any sense? Yes. And I built my life around them. So I want you guys to go from big picture, big list, macro to micro and drill down at it over the next couple of weeks and say, you know what? You can do that process by starting to group some of them. Some of them will overlap. So start grouping them and then call the categories a group. So this might be health. This might be wealth. This might be um, a spirituality. This might, and, and you may have five or six within that from that massive list. And then what I want you guys to do is to start deducting from that, like, what's the number one thing on that category? What's the number one thing yeah. on that? Because over time, guys, if you don't get crystal clear, you'll stay confused. And that is not our end game. So I want you guys to take your time, get it out of your head, get a massive list, bump that down to a category. You may have five, 10 categories. But then what I want you to start pulling words off that category and create a subcategory. And then at the end, you want to drill down the five prioritize. This is the number one. Listen, I can tell you off the break, my wife's number one is integrity. And if that value is compromised, we have problems. And I don't like problems. So I make sure that my flamingo behind gets in line with what is is going on because I like non-drama. I, I like it when things are going really, really, really sweet in our, in our relationship. So I just need you guys to be clear and that makes sense. Go ahead, Liz. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and then the second part of the homework. So not only to get clear for yourself, the second part, a couple people had to log off and I'm going to all message them and let them know, please print off this form. I'm going to do mine with my boys today. Print off this form and do this assignment. Give a copy to your partner, your children, so that you can get to know their values and you can have a values conversation. Oh, please, please, please. I mean, if you have done that already with your partner, do it with your children, your best friends, the people that matter most to you. Give them a copy of this and share down, uh, sit down and discuss one another's values. Yeah, have that value conversation. That's the second part of it. Hey, Liz, while we still have money, most people, are there any questions, concerns, yeah. any feedback? I'd like to hear sort of what you guys are getting out of Is this helping you? Is it adding value? Talk to us. Give us a little feedback, guys, and then we'll be done. Just come off of mute and just, you know, just, talk, just tell us right off the break. We'll figure it out. Nobody? No one? Okay. Everyone's good? This, this sucks. This was a waste of your time. You, <laughs> you, you had other things that you'd rather done. It was so a waste of your time. So I just want to, I need to know something, guys. I'm familiar. I need to know that we're hitting it. That's Keisha, you off mute? Him. 
Yes. I'm off, but I'm getting ready to leave right now because I'm at work. So, but I do want to say this was um, that last piece on how to get clearer on the values and kind of start with the big picture and then zooming in, zooming yes. in, zoom in, so you can refine those top five. Um, that's what I was looking for. I, I'm, I'm more of the, that practical mind and what do I do to get to where I need to be? Yes. So, um, that helped. That helped me out, and I find I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks. You said something love, like that. Yes, ma'am. Take your time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take your time. If you guys can, if you want to have a values conversation in the next call, we'll log in early and we can spend 10, 15 minutes going over that. That's Why amazing. those things matter to you. I love it. Right? Neptune okay. said, great sna session, snatching time at work. Okay, great, Neptune. Awesome. I just want to make sure that we, I love it. Anybody else? And you know what? I just want to say like, Thank you guys for once again showing up for yourselves. Like, I'm not kidding when I say there are like 50 people registered. To be exact, hold on, a couple of the emails bounced. I just want to show you guys this. A couple of the emails bounced. So I cleaned them up this morning. One second. So I just, I, I, I need to show you this. Um, and I'm showing you this because of how proud I am just that you guys are here. Like you guys showed up, you know, for yourselves. Like it, it, it just, it says a lot. It says a lot. Look at this. We're left with 46. Look at that. 46 people registered for the She Speaks Free series. I cleaned them up. There's 44 now. Okay. I mean, think about it. That's 11 people, 12 people that were on here out of 46, 44 people. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for having this. And I'm glad that I'm able to be here because, um, you know, it just confirms a lot of stuff that I already know and it just teaches me some more things that you know um that can be of value to me as well as anybody else and then I just also want to say that um you know us showing up here it's a sacrifice right there's a sacrifice but people sacrifice for what they want and sometimes again that self knowing self and knowing how important you are you will sacrifice to feed self Mm. So I appreciate you guys <laughs> very much mm. for having this so we can sit here every week for our little lunch. <laughs> yeah. Our, little conversa our lunch yeah. conversation. So thank you to you guys for giving yourselves to us so that we can too now eat off of that. Thank you, it. Bella. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so it. much. That means a lot to us. Thank, thank you. you. Guys, we appreciate you. We really do. Thanks, Keisha. I know you said you have to go. Attica. Hi, beautiful. Hey, how are you? Hi. This is one of Hi, my guys. students. Nice to meet everybody. One of my students meet you. in the room, and she's been showing up. So Good for you. I'm at university in a library, guys. Yeah, she's, just, she's like, I got to go in the library. I got to. She I love left it. her where she was, went into the library, and made Good it for happen. You. Yeah. How is this helping you? How is this I helping you? I actually really love it. Like, um, my friend was supposed to meet me and I was like completely ignoring her because I was like, I have to listen to what you guys have to say because I've been <laughs> taking notes on the first session and I got so much like valuable, like informative things that I never thought of or it's like things you know, but you just never reflect on. And I got like such a good reassuring, like feeling and um i think it's great i'm gonna show up to every meeting i'm gonna request a replay button because i kind of miss parts of it but um um even with the value thing i do think it's important because sometimes i say i value something and i may not understand what it is exactly that i'm valuing so it is important even in our self-awareness session and this to put it together it all goes like a domino effect and i feel like it is very important to you can't understand one without the other so i'm glad that i tuned in today i'm glad i'm gonna definitely do the exercise but i like what you said glenn to take your time with it because what you think you may value you may assume it, but like when you start getting into habit, if it's not the core you, if it's not something you like a default setting, like this is not exactly how you want to live your life or like what you actually value. So I really love these sessions and I'm going to continue coming to them. Aww. 
that warms my heart. <laughs> the flamingo. I am hugging Bella. I am hugging you. With, I know. I, my daughter. My da My daughter tells me, Dad, you're the big bald black guy, and so sometimes you intimidate me. Well, I'm telling you right now, I'm coming through this thing, and I'm I'm hugging. I'm giving you a bear hug right now. <laughs> I love it. I That's love it. Beautiful. I love it. That is so fabulous. That is. Yes. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We love you guys. You're the light, so get out there. Shine your lights. Allison, thank you so much for all your input. You're amazing. Heather, Shanika, who else is here? Neptune. I don't even know who Neptune is. Um, Heather, let me know if you got the email, Heather. I've sent it already. Just confirm that you got it. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fantastic, joyful, and purpose-filled day. We will see you next week. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. Okay? Ciao. Bye.